Mom? Hysteria takes place in 1989 during the Satanic Panic in a small town called Happy Hollow in Michigan. I love the 80s, um, so it's really fun. Like all the clothes and all the music and all the set cars too and all the sets, it's really cool. Our crew is very talented and it's like walking back in time. It's been too fun trying to find the different areas and restaurants over here and it's been amazing. Reset, one more. Still rolling. Our show is set in 1989, Michigan. I'm from Michigan, and so, you know, it was incredibly important to me to be able to capture that authenticity of what Michigan felt like. And instantly, from seeing so many different places in Georgia, it became so clear that we could bring the scope and the scale and also the intimacy of what that needed to feel like. You know, Georgia is so unique because you really can do things that, that feel huge and full of scope and are small and personal and intimate at the same time. We found that here in Conyers, which has been which has been amazing. Uh, we have a number of neighborhoods that we've explored uh, to find all different kinds of homes to really represent all different kinds of neighborhoods and all different kinds of backgrounds. Georgia does offer a lot of different filming locations, everything from the beach to the mountains to big cities like Atlanta and to little railroad towns like Conyers and Covington. High school, yeah, it's uh, it's been so fun just to, you know, turn my brain off, not be an actor, just be a kid in the high school. So we actually have two different locations that we use for the high school. There's an actual high school that we're filming in for a good chunk of the time, and then there's a second school that we use for the cafeteria and also for the like outdoor. There's a there's a scene where Jordy gets up on a table at some point in the show, which is out in a little lawn area. The high school is one of my favorite sets because of where it is. It's in Stone Mountain, I mean, it's beautiful. It's like a historic landmark here in, in Georgia. And I went up to the Big Rock, it was cool. These people want a Satanist. I'll give them a Satanist. Yeah, this is, uh, this is Spud's domain. Uh, it's become sort of a sanctuary for him and his friends. They've been through a lot in this garage and it's, it's kind of, it's telltale by how worn in it is and my castmates make it a blast. So every time we're up here, it's like, it's not even work. Hello? The church was really fun to film in. Victoria Paul did a beautiful job. It's probably the most beautiful set I've ever seen in my life. The current set deck crew that we have is absolutely one of the best crews I've worked with anywhere. And they really take pride and take ownership in their work. It's one of the most elaborate sets I think I've ever seen. It's been fun to completely engross ourselves in that world, especially when the sets are so convincing. So every time we're on that set, it does feel like we're at a church. So we have the interior church that is on the stage and then the external church that is um, also on the lot of the stage, but it's kind of pushed back against the trees. You let evil into your home. No! In the state of Georgia, creatively, we have all the resources that you can think of, from sound stages to studios to production offices to locations. We have a diverse amount, so you honestly can come here and creatively be able to get anything that you need. I can honestly do anything that I would do in Los Angeles or in New York here. There's prop houses, there's drapery rental, there's great outside vendors all over the place. The Tax Incentive has been here for about 20 years, so the pool of talent has grown um, over that time, and a lot of people have relocated here. So there's a huge talent pool in terms of cast and crew. I've shot all over the world, and the crew here is second to none. I, I could not be happier with the, the quality and the caliber of the people that I'm surrounded by. So from all of the places that I've shot in the world, you know, I would come back to Georgia in a heartbeat. The incentives here really allow us to tell the biggest and best version of the story that we want to tell. 